I uh, wanted to do this stick song a um, little bit selfish. I really wanted to remember how to play this. And I kind of enjoy strumming it more than picking through it, but for realism, uh, I thought I'd throw in the picking part. On guitar.com, Dr. Rocker does a really great version of this and how to play it uh, finger picked and uh, add some to that and there's the leads but I'm going to focus on the 12 string here and what I'm doing to play it. Um, what we're doing is A minor 7th alright so we take an A minor and we're lifting up our ring finger and what we're going to do is hit the first two strings the 5th and 4th and then come down to 2, 3 and then 2, 1 and that's pretty much the picking pattern down by adding our pinky on the third uh, fret of the first string and it's basically the same picking pattern okay and like I said it sounds great strummed but you know it's it's up to you whatever way you uh, feel best to do it um, so we got our picking pattern down we're gonna go to a G major 7 and to play that, um, really all you need is just like a G chord on your heavy strings, you can be at six at three, two on uh, five, and you need your first finger on that second fret of the first string, okay? I usually add my pinky down on the second string, so I'm kind of playing um, this form of a G, but I've picked up my pinky, all right? and. Um, using my first finger here so okay, and again this sounds fine strum so you just want that up and down on them uh, high strings but again if you're picking through it it'd be you know six and five and then two three and two one all right and then we go back what we're going to do is pick through an A minor 7th. We'll start on the 4th string, 3-2. We're going to move that up a full fret. Same strings, 4-3-2. Move both fingers up to the 5th fret. Alright, then we come up all the way to 9 and 8 on the 4th uh, and 2nd string. And then you want to hit the D note, and that gives you time to get into a D7, and you want to add your sus4, so you're putting your pinky down to start with. Alright, so let's do that together. One, two, three, four. Alright, so we got our D7. And then we're back into our picking pattern. Now he'll do the A minor into the, and then G major seven. Alright. The second time through here, he's gonna go just like we picked up. We're gonna go all the way up to nine. But this time we just come back to our G major seven. So now, um, we're at this G major 7th, what we're doing is you just want to give it half a measure and then you're going to do a walk down. So you go on the 6th string from 3, 2, to open and we'll play an E minor 7th. And then hammer in. What I found is some of these hammer-ons and watching Tommy do this live, they really help with the timing. So if you're playing this measure with the E minor 7 and then lifting up and adding on the 4th string, you have this. And then we're going to go to a uh, full A 7th, so we'll be playing on the 4th uh, and 3rd string, leaving that, I'm sorry, 4th and 2nd string, leaving the 3rd string open. Now the first time through, we're going to go to a C and then a G note. And then back to a D. So we have this. Let me play it for you from that uh, G major 7th. Then 
the second time through, you'll go from the C bass note, G, back to C, and then a D. So there's a little extra C there, but again, those notes help you with your timing. So we'll take it from the G major 7th. What you do then is three more A minor sevens and uh, A minor ninths and G's. Then you walk up. C with one G. And then you're into the bridge, which they say, tell me, tell me. So we'll go into the bridge here. Um, I'm going to take off from the C, G, back to C root note, and then D. And I'll do the first two like I've seen Tommy play it one way, and I've seen him play it another way. Um, so I'll do two of each, and then we'll be into the chorus. So here we go from the C, G, C. <laughs> timing really sucked there but you get the idea so uh, what we're doing there is we're playing our E minor and then we're going to slide up just on the fourth string and hit everything open it's a form of uh, E9 all right you can what I do the second time is I'm playing what's in effect looks like a B I'm on the fifth string at the second fret and that fourth string at four that is an E9 play all the strings and then back to your um, E minor, and then you're going to hammer in, okay? So that kind of helps you with the timing again. To our C, G, C, D, and then do it again. Here's the other way. So what we're doing there is we're hitting the E root note for the chorus, E minor, and then right to a B minor. One more time for a total of three. Next one we're going to do will be a C ninth. So I'm going to go to a C, it's just like playing a G, but we've moved our third and first finger down a string, so we're on the fifth and fourth. And then what I do is I just move it to a D uh, sus4 over um, B. So, okay, we have, uh, we, on the last... So if you want, you can play a C to a B minor, Chris. All right. During the piano interlude, what he's doing is that E minor to E minor 9, back to E minor, and then just D and D sus2, which sus2 is picking up your middle finger in a D. So it should sound like this. This is when that piano is just playing, or the uh, organ. Takes us into the next part.
So after the interlude, they'll come in with a pretty heavy guitar part, and what they're doing is a C to a D to, you can do this uh, B over sus4, alright, if you like, or you can play a full B sus4, so that'd be like, we're covering the fifth string here on the second fret, then we're barring across the fourth fret of the fourth and third string and our pinky is on the second. Okay, so you have Alright, and then they go back into that um, it's basically that br uh, bridge that we did. It's played with a lot more and that's strummed a lot harder, so. So you can see they're really kicking it out here and the guitar's doing the lead. Then after that, they go back into the, um, let's see, from the D. the song so I really hope that helps everybody it's just a beautiful song and it's kind of a selfish lesson I don't want to forget how I play this and I hope it helps everyone with this version so um, if you don't have a 12 string I suggest you get one they're beautiful sounding instruments enjoy